My concern is there's two to three million recreational drug users in the UK of whom the vast majority <coughs> will never need treatment and will never need to go and talk to anyone. The trouble is that some of those people, I'd guess maybe 10 or 20% at some point in their drug using career, will run into problems. Who will they talk to? If they go and see their GP, the likelihood is the GP won't ask. If the GP does ask, the likelihood is they won't disclose. It's very difficult for friends to turn around and say, you're using too much, you should cut down. There aren't guidelines for how much coke you should use or how much cannabis you should use because it varies. And so we were interested in exploring the idea of social normative feedback, about giving people personalised information around their drug use as a way of allowing them to think about their drug use. You know, and that's all it's, that's all it's about, letting people think about their drug use in a safe, confidential environment. So the Drug Meter is a free online and smartphone app that hopefully the app stores will approve over the next couple of months. And so far there are apps for alcohol, amphetamine, cannabis, coke, MDMA, GHB, ketamine and methadrone. And if you get it on your smartphone, hopefully you'll come to a screen that looks a little bit like this. And just to give you an example of how it works, we'll do cannabis. So it'll find out who you are, it'll find out where you live in the world, and then it'll tell you how many people are there like you. Our database is around 20,000 people at the moment. It'll then ask you what sort of weed you smoke, so it could be high potency, normal or hash, and it'll then ask how do you smoke your cannabis, um, and how many days do you use. It'll then ask you how much do you use. If you don't know how much you use, we will show you pictures of joints. I spent nine and a half hours in a forensic laboratory rolling 210 joints, chopping endless lines of coke, methadrone, cannabis, weighing them, measuring them. You know, I, having to chop a line of coke and go, it's 37 milligrams, I need to get rid of 0.2 mil... Anyway, um, so John Ramsey very kindly allowed us access. And so we, anyway, so you can choose your joint. And then we'll say, well, how many of those do you use? And then we'll work out how much you use a day. And then we'll say, OK, so that means you probably use this much in a month and this is how much you spend. And you can adjust that because maybe it had been a bit of a heavier month. And then we'll say, OK, well, based on what you've told us, this is how much you would have spent in the last year if you'd used like that every month. And then we say to people, OK, based purely on the amount you use, how do you think your use compares to other people? So you might go, ah, I think I'm average. Actually, compared to five, six, seven thousand other cannabis users, in fact, your use is high average, but everyone's different. So let's find a little bit more about you. <coughs> Are you on any medications? Do you have asthma? Do you have a family history of problems? And after taking people through a few little questions, we then adjust people's use based on their personal risk. One of the problems with generic harm reduction messages is you see smoking kills. And people who smoke go, yeah, smoking kills, not me. This is all about you. You personalise the feedback so people can't go, this is not to do with me. Bollocks, this is all to do about you. And then we work out how much you may have used in your lifetime, how much you've spent. I did this with a client um, about three and a half weeks ago who was on the verge of getting evicted. We worked out over the last 20 years she'd spent £178,000 on cannabis. <coughs> you then get a visual feedback. You thought you were here. In fact, you're here. In fact, you're um, a little bit higher. And then we give you some harm reduction advice on how to smoke or how to snort. We give you some advice on cutting down. Um, for, for methadrone and um, ketamine and GHB, there's sexuality and gender-specific safe sex advice. We'll then take you through an assessment to see if you've got a problem. We'll give you some feedback and some advice. And then we make sure all that information is made available to you. So, Drugs Meter might be useful in your services to engage people, to have some targeted health promotion. Um, we're expecting by the end of the year with the next global drug survey, our database will hit to about 50,000 people. Um, we've got email banners, stickers, posters. Please contact me, you can spread the word. If you'd like any information, please uh, let me know. There are some references um, that this is based on. Thank you.